Hi there, it's Kaya from Kaichika Crafts. Welcome to my second card making tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the first one and that you hopped along. If you didn't, you still have some time and I hope you will join us because prizes are really awesome. Now back to this card. As you can see, I have two piles of Chrome Spring stamps here and one pile is for you, for the lucky winner from the hub and I will use the other pile right now. As you can see, I already positioned the stamp where I want it to be. This one is called one triangle at a time and it's a background stamp. It's quite a big one, that's why I'm using my Misty, I don't want to mess it up. And I will just go ahead and use my Versamark sticky ink and just press it down and I will do it once again because I'm not quite sure if I covered it well and that's not a problem because I have my Misty and I know I will stamp it perfectly. So yeah, we'll just use this silver embossing powder now. I have a scrap piece of paper. I'm well, a lot of card makers use a coffee filter but for me this scrap piece of paper is doing just fine. So yeah. I will use this Crelando silver embossing powder and um, the last thing for the embossing will be to heat it up of course. And um, This embossing powder melts really quickly so I won't have any problems with the paper with warping and you will see here I will just take the heat directly where I want it and you can see it starts melting really fast. Now it's time for the coloring. I will use this big brush size 20 and my distress inks. I will go with Craft Pistachio, Peacock Feathers and Mermaid Lagoon. First I will wet the paper because I want my color to flow naturally and moves on its own. And I will start with Cricked Pistachio because it's the lightest color and I will move on with Peacock Feathers and Mermaid Lagoon. As you can see I used quite a bit of Cracked Pistachio but it's not seen almost at all. So I will just uh, hit set this for now and I will bring more Cracked Pistachio on later. And when you are heat setting it, you want to make sure you don't touch the paper because you are now heat setting the embossing powder too. So if you touch it, you will uh, bring some embossing powder on your hands or wherever and you will ruin your background. And believe me, been there, done that. It doesn't look good. So yeah, make sure you don't touch the paper and you will be fine. And now I will do some more uh, color on top and as you can see I will uh, use a bit uh, more of craft pistachio because I wanted it to be a bit more greenish and then I will just bring some more of peacock feathers too and as you can see I have taped down my paper that because it prevents paper uh, from warping it's a lot better with taping it down uh, at least for me it works great and I just tape it down to my work surface I don't bother with anything else now I took this second stamp set that's called geometry and I will use this round circle uh, stamp and then this one uh, with the straight lines and we will make three trees. So I will just took my Misty again because it's a lot easier and put my uh, stamps there. I will just make sure it actually covers um, all of the lines and I will use Altenew Expresso ink for this and as you can see I stamped it three times and uh, for uh, the uh, top part I will use Willow from Simon Says Stamp and I will just do it the same I will just uh, put it in Misty and then stamp it I actually didn't like this solid um, stamped image for the first time so I stamped it again now you can see I already fussy cut the trees too and I will just take this piece of paper and I will make the heel. 
I will just cut it up and you can see that it actually looks like heel. Now I will start positioning my card. I will just make sure I have the trees where I want it to be and I will also take this really soft blue cardstock so we won't have this white on white uh, so yeah I will just tape it down and I want to have this little small blue border around it so I will go for it I will next take again my old and new happy birthday that's from birthday greeting set and I will just stamp it here I will position it on my acrylic block and I will use VersaFine Onyx Black Ink here and I will just stamp it on my bottom heel and the last thing will be to position everything first I uh, glued down my uh, background panel and here I used quite a lot of glue because I mean it's watercolor paper and I didn't want to risk the warping later on so I just make sure I used a lot of tape and uh, that will do so here you will see me position the heel you can do it from looking up top or just positioning it like this and of course the trees uh, first I will just take the heel to the background so you will see now that we actually already have our background all ready to go and yeah as I said the last thing will be the trees I just put some foam rectangles behind it and I will just position it and um, yeah the really last thing will be to uh, glue down the panel and do some details here you can see I didn't uh, did the measurements okay so I'll just trim that down and you'll never know uh, yeah, I mean you know but yeah psh, don't tell anybody <laughs> so yeah the finishing touches and yeah that's it for today hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you haven't hopped along yet hop and yeah you have all the details below in the description box see you next time bye bye <laughs>